It all started on an ordinary evening, one might even say, at night. It was late, about one o'clock in the morning, and I was returning from work. I had to walk through the yards, as my house was practically in the middle of nowhere. Now I understand that I shouldn't have bought an apartment so far from downtown, but I didn't have much money. As I passed through one of the courtyards, I saw the silhouette of someone nearby. I should have just walked by without looking, but I tried to see who it was standing there, and I slowed my pace. The man seemed to be moving away from me. I walked and walked, but I couldn't get close to him. Suddenly I heard a low hum, but I couldn't understand where it was coming from. It seemed to cover everything around me at the same time. Then the silhouette began to move threateningly fast toward me. At that moment, I felt wild fear. I was literally pinned to the spot. There was no one around, but the silhouette kept coming. I was on the verge of fainting then. I wanted my brain to shut down, to stop seeing that silhouette and hearing that hum. When I could finally see his features, my whole body trembled. He had large iris less almond shaped eyes with huge pupils that seemed to pulsate. His face was unnaturally elongated on one side, his skin dark gray in color, his mouth a huge hole, and his nose seemed completely absent. The creature's body was hidden under some kind of cloak. The hum intensified, it seemed to sound in my head. When the creature was very close to me, I finally understood why half of its face was stretched out. The skin on that side was covered in blisters. Someone must have splashed acid in his face. Suddenly everything was gone, and all that was left were his eyes. One of them was disfigured by acid, which was even scarier. I lost consciousness. In the morning I woke up at the front door, which was very strange. There were a lot of people around, and doctors were fussing over me. It turned out that they found me here unconscious and called an ambulance. I won't go into the details of what happened next. I ended up going home. The doctor prescribed a strong sedative and plenty of rest. But that wasn't all. For about a week everything was quiet, nothing out of the ordinary. But then all hell broke loose. I was sitting, drinking tea and watching TV. Suddenly there was a knock on the window from outside. I got a little shiver because my apartment is on the 8th floor. I sat and stared blankly out the curtained window. The knocking sounded again, but louder. I got up, ran to the window, and pulled back the curtain. I wish I hadn't done that. Behind the window was a large wrinkled face. Its small red eyes contrasted with its pale skin. The huge toothless mouth that sucked against the window horrified me. I screamed in a voice not my own and ran out of the apartment. Since then, I can't stay home alone. I feel like someone is watching me, walking on my heels, ready to pounce at any moment. This feeling usually increases between 12 and 1 o'clock in the morning. I would like to believe that all this is a figment of my imagination. But it's not. I know it isn't. My nerves bail me. Every day I have breakdowns and tantrums. I took time off from work for this reason, and they're threatening to fire me. I found out from my neighbors that there was once a serial killer in our neighborhood, and his victims were young girls. He was murdered, they say the boyfriend of one of the murdered girls poured sulfuric acid over his corpse in revenge. Maybe he's the one terrorizing me. I can't sell my apartment, I don't have any friends or relatives I can go to. I'm scared. Very scared. <laughs>